Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the consignment in Odoo 16 inventory module. Consignment is the process of offering a third party some products and services for selling. The consigner here will store the product and sell it to the customer. The consignment will allow you to set owners on stored products just like we do in our retail outlets. Online stores and e-commerce are working under this principle. If you get inside the inventory module, inside the configuration settings of the inventory, you will find this consignment and only after enabling it, you can use it. Let's move forward to the inventory module and see how the consignment works. Okay, so first, let's go to the inventory module. For that, here I'm opening the inventory module. And then let's go to the configuration settings. Okay, now here you have to enable the consignment. So, as you can see under the traceability, consignment is already enabled. So I'm not enabling it right now. And after that, make sure you save it. So I've already enabled it. So I'm not doing anything else. Now let's go back. And here you have the purchase module, opening the purchase module and clicking on create. So let's create a new RFQ. I'm adding the vendor deco edit. And you have the order deadline there, the expected arrival. So I'll add a random date for the expected arrival. So I'm adding 25, enabling it. Then you have the vendor reference. If you want to give the vendor reference, you can give that. You have the currency, the purchase agreement and all here. Now you have the products here. So I'm going to add the product customizable desk. And here you can see the quantity, unit price and all. I'm going to confirm the order again. So now the RFQ is confirmed. Okay, confirm to purchase order. After that, let me receive the products. Okay, so receiving. And then we have to, okay. So inside the transfer there, you can see a field called assign owner. So there you can set the owner for this particular product, okay. So that's the field over there. If you just go and click there, you can see the, you know, like the owners where you can choose from. So from there, you can choose Azure Interior. So I'm choosing Azure Interior and here's the product. So currently I'm giving the ownership of this product to Azure Interior. Okay, and then let's validate it. Clicking on apply and then it's in done state. So in one way, through this step or through this method, you can assign the owner to the uh, product. Okay, now let's go back to the inventory module itself. And there, under reporting, you have the locations. So if you open locations, and if you just scroll down, here you can see the customizable desk. Okay. So I'm removing the done thing and all, done filter. And if you put the filter that is group by, you can see there is owner, okay? So you can filter it or group it based on the owner. So as you can see here, we have two owners, which is Azure and the other one is the undefined ones. So you can simply expand it and see what are the, uh, you know, uh, like which are products does this person owns. So under Azure interior, you can see customizable desk is there. The on-hand quantity is one. Okay. And the reserve quantity is zero. All those things can be seen here. So using the group by option, you can group it based on the owners. Then we have one more thing. Okay. So let's go. to the filters and I'm removing all these things. Now under operations, you have transfers, open transfers. Now let's create a new transfer. Okay, so let's add the contact, which is Azure interior, add an operation type. I'm adding receipt and here we have the option to add a product. So I'm adding a product here. You also have assign owner there. Okay, so once you add the operation type as receipts, you'll get the field 
assign owner inside transfers. So through this way also you can add a product and set assign I mean owner to that particular product. So here I'm changing the demand quantities to five then saving it clicking on mark as to do now it's ready and then we can validate it. Now it's in done state. So through this inside the transfer we can add owners to the products. Now we have the locations inside reporting and if you expand equedit you can see the product which we added right now through transfer. Okay so directly through the transfers and also through a RFQ you can assign owner to the products. Through these ways we can add owner to a particular product. Okay so that's all about the consignment. That's all about the consignment. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.